Hi. <laughs> I just came back from college. <laughs> ah, fun. Um, but <laughs> no, I'm actually, it was actually fine. I didn't have to be there too early. I had to be there at 11. I was there at 11 to 1. I was a little stressed out. <laughs> um, the timing stressed me out. <laughs> um, but no, all things good. Paperwork done. Had a test this morning, which I passed. Ah! Hi, Jimena. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm doing a live today because I have nothing to do today. I completed all the stuff that I needed to do today, hopefully, I think. I don't know. Graciela! Wait, go back. When are you coming to Miami? I don't know. I hope soon. There's actually a couple people, including you, that I like miss a lot. Ah! Shalom. Oh my god. Love my you love my voice. Thank you. I love you. Your face is gorgeous. You guys should check her out. Her videos are just you know. Spreading a little feminine love, you know. Um I'm like join, 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 join. I'm like observing something new in the comments because apparently like when you join, it just says that you join and then right next to it, it says wave. So I have like a bunch of wave just like, <laughs> hi Madey, I miss you so much. Oh my God. <sighs> I need to like, I feel like my Instagram's like chill right now and I don't need it to be chill. I need it to be lit. Okay. Like looking gorgeous. We got a link back up. My baby Trey. What's up Thailand? How you doing? But bro, no, for real though. You're still in LA, right? Because Amar, you, Jaheem, me, the gang, we need to go. Like, we need to. You know what I mean? Hey, Michelle. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to DM you. I'm so sorry. I ended up doing something. I don't remember what exactly it was. But I think I got home. My teeth were kind of like, ow. So I just, like, went to bed. <laughs> I went to the dentist yesterday, which is why. But I got my first teeth whitening they're white they're they're as white as montana y'all like i'm so excited but yeah no they did amazing i'll probably post it later i'm like give i'm gonna i'm gonna give y'all like a rare selfie of me actually smiling so that'll be nice it's all thanks to my really really nice dentist they made me feel nice nothing hurt nothing was scary so i was like hey it's a great time so Hi, baby. <laughs> That's my baby. A white teeth model? Yes, sir. Invisalign who? I do still have Invisalign, bro. I want to get rid of them so bad. Like, when I initially started, I was... How old was I? 13? 13. I'm 18 now. I think this needs to stop. Invisalign needs to go away. My teeth are fine. I was like, it was only supposed to be three years, but like, I love my orthodontist. Like, li like literally, I love him and his entire team. They're like family. But like, he wants like, I admire that like he's going for perfection and like really going for every little thing. But it's like, bro, I really don't want to be wearing freaking Invisalign 22 hours a day. I should like, I really should be. Doing the hours that I need to do, but I literally only wear it at night as if it was a retainer. I'm the worst. I mean, I was disciplined for like three years, so like, I'm fine. Like, little marinator. Oh my god, my baby. Damn, bitch, your hair is slang. Um, secret. Ah, thank you. Um, I went to dry bar like a couple days ago, and then I have really thick Latina hair that just kind of thankfully grasps onto the curls. Plus, I go to sleep. If I want to keep curls or some sort of wave, I just put it in a braid before I go to bed and leave it the whole night. Hi, Becca. But, Michelle, um, again, sorry for not DMing yesterday. I just want to make sure before, like, I DM you, are you okay? Like, is everything good? Like, I want to make sure you're not feeling bad. Girl, please join him. I need to see you. That's all. I need to see you, too. Aww. Are you still in touch with Breck? I am. Jeez. I need to text her. <laughs> We like, I need to text her more often, like actually go and hang out something. We always say let's hang out, but then we always forget to do it. So like one day, I hope, I think she's, is she back in LA? I'm not even sure. But I have to like go text her or something. 
Why are you not DMing me? I know. I need to, like, jam a bunch of you. Okay, but, like, I've been thinking about something lately, and I like a but. I oh, my God. Hi, Con. My baby. Hi. You better DM me after this. I love you. I will. My DMs are a mess right now. I'm, like, I'm not even going to say this or that. Like, I literally forget to DM people. This is a thing. Like, I forget. Um, bunch. I'm your baby. I love you. <laughs> but... Hi, hi, Sabie. Okay, all my babies. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I've been thinking about it because, like, I know a bunch of you have been stargazers since, like, 2014, 2015, like, the prime time of when I was, like, hey, I'm, a, like, a person. I'm on, a, like, a show. Hello, this is my Instagram. You know what I mean? And so, like, that's when I started kind of, like, growing the fan base. And I feel like time was really lit back then. Like, time was, like, you know, like... The, 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 the gram was popping. Like, my gram was good. I mean, there was only a period of time where my theme was like, but ignoring that other part, it was lit. Wait, someone said something. Josiah said Team Amar, Team Amar wins, and that's a lie. That's a whole lie. Um, it was put on, like, national, international, like, YouTube, whatever. <laughs> you guys lost. I'm sorry. Um, apart from... Back to the topic, because my ADD drives me everywhere except the topic that I want to talk about. Um, I want my Instagram to be, like, popping again. <laughs> like, the original crew, not even, like, I'm stupid. My, not the crew, but, like, it seems so win. That's my fave. Okay. But, like, for real, though, I need, like, the main crew of, like, Stargazers to, like, be so lit again. Like, I'm, like, I, like, I love y'all. Like, I just, ah. I need to start posting stuff that were like more like that time. I feel like that was more like representative of me. I don't even know where I'm going with this. It's an internal thought, but just know I'm trying to get everything to be hype. Whatever. You think? Okay. When I'm reading stuff and everything just goes really quick, I'm just gonna like speak gibberish, I guess. No, Lily, no party. The party don't start till I walk in. Yes, I quoted Kesha. Yes, I still love her. And yes, I still listen to the old jams. When is new Lil' Omar merch coming? I don't know. I need someone to do it for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I need to, like, get it popping. I need to, like, I don't know. I need to team up with someone and do it. I still need to see Savannah and, like, hopefully do Lulu and Bam Bam merch. We thought about it when we were, like, delirious. It was, like, 2 in the morning... We had, like, I don't know how many sodas, and we were just talking, like, we were like, you know, like, when you're really trying to go to bed, but you're not, and you drink so much soda, you don't even know what to do with yourself, and you're just saying random stuff, like, you know that filter that tells you not to act weird, not say weird stuff? Yeah, that was, like, turned off. So both of us were, like, in the middle of, like, the Grove or the mall, and this is my best, this is one of my best friends, uh, who plays my best friend on the show as well, and I was, like... I, I call her uh, Bam Bam, and she calls me Lulu. And so we were like, dude, let's do Lulu and Bam Bam merch. She had the original idea. I think she said the first sentence. And then we were like, whoa. So hopefully we'll get to do that, because we both kind of like the same aesthetic and stuff. So it'd be cool if we do that. I've never met someone more dedicated to their Instagram theme. That is me. Oh, my God. Thank you. That actually makes me so happy. I like, I like making it look pretty. You know, it's a little bit of social media art here and there. I don't know if you remember me, but I love you so much. Kira, why would I ever forget you? Are you kidding me? I've known you for so many years. I, ah, I love you. I literally miss the old fandom. Everyone was nicer and talking about each other nice. Then it started, uh, but then it started about BTS and all the other stuff that I didn't think I would fit in, and I stopped my fan page. Um, I get where you're coming from, yeah. I mean, from back then, I could just kind of like that it seemed more like, kind of like united. It doesn't even have to be about like, some people like BTS, some people like this, some people like that. I think always in my comments there were always like fandom like, oh, you know, because it's, it's cool. Like, you know, when you see an artist that you like and they like the same artist as you, you obviously want to go off on it in the comments. So that was always present. But, um, I don't know. I just feel like it was a lot more like, like, pack. You know what I mean? Like, everyone knew who each other was and all that kind of stuff. Now it's like... Semi-active, semi-not. And I was like, come on. Let's design merch from Stargazers for Stargazers. 
Big uwu. Big mood. Can we please? That's really cute though. Everything was fun and right how all the are literally BTS fans because they want your like and comments and stuff. Really? I haven't seen it that way. I mean, I know some of them found out about BTS through me or through some of the other fans that also were like years liking BTS. The thing with that is that it wouldn't be as as like semi annoying as it is now, because for some reason, and I know a lot of, this this I know it's about K-pop, but it's a topic that everyone can immerse themselves in. Um, there's just people all of a sudden, and it's really annoying um, that they're just like they don't like K-pop, they don't know what it is, but oh, BTS is really popular. I'm gonna talk about them so I can get um, followers. <laughs> Please leave my mentions. Please exit my comments. Do not do not do that. Like if you don't like K-pop, that's perfectly fine. Acceptable. If you do love it, perfect. Acceptable. If you are just now getting into it and you want to learn more about it, or it's a new genre that you're trying to get into, you want to listen to music in other languages from other artists, amazing. Perfect. Ask any fan that you see is like truly into it and you want to learn about it. Ask actual Korean people that can give you the best guide to actual Korean culture. But it's like Exactly. Imagine hating K-pop with standing BTS. Girl, what? <laughs> um, but it's like, don't, and this is in general, don't pretend to like certain things just to get followers. Like, how desperate are you? Mm. And this is something regarding, like, fandom culture, too, that I think, I mean, I don't want to go for certain fans, and I'm definitely not trying to be shady or anything. But there are certain people that try just literally anything to get the attention or the notice from their idol or person that they are a fan of. And it's like, why? Don't do that. Just like, to me, it's so much more cool just seeing like, even if it's not like this beautiful, amazing edit, but they did it, you know, just because it like came from them and they were just like, oh, I really like this artist. I want to make them something or like talking in a more honest way instead of like doing all this bunch of like crap to like get your fave to notice you like don't do that don't do that like k-pop in, in general for getting views disgusting i know there's like because i enjoy k-pop okay i've loved it since like 2009 when i found out about like girls generation and it's just another genre dude like i don't get why people are making it into this huge like oh my god like okay you know spanish artists right they are people, regular human beings, that sing in their own language. Whether it's R&B, or reggaeton, or hip-hop, or pop, it is the same exact thing that you've heard your entire life, but they sing it in Spanish. That's what K-pop is. Wow, I just blew your mind. It's like, so, it's like this big thing. I don't know why people think that singing in another language just makes it this whole different thing. Like, I was like, what? Why does English have to be pop? Like, nobody calls it e-pop. Like, why is it, like, music English? You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's, like, only English is considered music. Everything else is foreign and, like, different, and you're trying to find out what it is. Like, it's music, bro. Like, you can listen to music in any language, in any whatever. Music speaks by its own. It's its own language. Like, have you ever, have you, ever you know, read, like, musical notes? It's its own language, bro. It's a thing. I don't know. Just, you know, having to put that out there because people are acting a mess. Um, it is a bunch of jobless behavior. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, go to school. Try your best. Uh, go to work. Uh, try to get, you know, pay your rent. Um, like, seriously, some people need to grow up. Like, Look it, Sabi, you're acting a fool. There is no one behind me. And if there is, fight me, bro. You're in my apartment. What? <laughs> Sentient is my favorite because of BTS. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's a great time. It's a great time to be alive, y'all. <laughs> Sabi. I love that y'all are laughing. At least y'all are laughing. You know what I mean? You gotta go, baby. Well, this is at Lil Marnator because she has to go. Bye, baby. I love you. I hope you have a great day or night or dawn, dusk, whatever it is, whatever time it is in your country. I love you so much. Hi, Mildred. It's my baby.
Yes. I'm going to spend the night at the hospital. I'm getting good. I need to ask you for some advice. I'll go to your DMs as fast as I can and like as fast as I'm done here. I hope you're okay. I hope you're doing okay. If you're not, I hope you get so much better. I love you so much. Please never forget that. This is at Michelle, who just like wrote something really cute. Te amo de México. Ah, saludos a México. Hola, hermosa, saludos. Miss you, baby. A ti también, Mildred. Me has dejado sola. Abandonada. I declare a rematch. Boy, please. Rematch. I don't think so. So, September is the suicide prevention month. What advice would you give to people who are struggling with depression and anxiety? Um, it's a hard topic, but to be as concise as I can and bring out my message as best as I can, um, sometimes I feel like the first thing to work on is just self-love and self-care. It sounds cheesy and whatever, but it's literally the foundation to everything. Like, it is the key to your own happiness. Because bringing that love to yourself is not only like, oh, not only do I love myself to the fact that to, to the point that I can look at myself in the mirror and point out all the, you know, physical aspects that I like, instead of pointing out the flaws, you can actually talk to yourself and just listen to what your body wants, to what your mind needs, to what your soul needs. Like, you're paying attention to yourself and taking care of yourself. So I think it's just trying that and kind of being fair to yourself, treating yourself with kindness. You know what I mean? That's the best thing you could do because a lot of the times... We are our own enemy, but we can be our own best friend. So it just imagine, just depends how you work that out. But I seriously do encourage you to go on that journey, to really, really work hard at it. It's very, very hard for some people, I know, but it's very, very important. And there's always going to be friends, and even me, if you want, to help you and to encourage you. There's always inspiration and help everywhere. So. Because of, and I was like, so you're trying to make me jealous and the person says she loves me a lot. I mean, because I love you as all. I love you, Madea. You're so mature and amazing and nice. Made for it with some K-pop writers. Be proud. No, you're joking. He's not writing with K-pop. <gasps> I'm, I'm calling Freud. Like, what? Don't lie to me because I will literally, like, spam his text messages with, um, hello. K-pop what? I'm like, I love you so much. Little more is lovely. I love you too. It hurt me. It shouldn't hurt you. I love you, little more. Ted Talk is shaking. <laughs> I met you at VidCon. We were talking about Ball on the Bulldog. Oh, hi. Isn't working? Oh, live. My baby, live recovered. You're so cute. Yes, I do know about the Dua Lipa and Blackpink collaboration. I thought it was like a lie or like people thinking just because they took a picture. Girl, nah, they're really, they're really, they're really doing a duet over here. Like, um, out of the group of Snapchat because of hate. Why, baby? Why? It hasn't been, I just haven't been on Snapchat at all. Like, do you guys like, just in general, do you guys still use Snapchat? Is it a thing? Like, should I keep using it? Because, like, it's kind of dead to me. <laughs> that's it. That's the comment. I love you, Sophie. Um, but, yeah, no. I just haven't used Snapchat at all. <laughs> I use the filters because I still like the filters, and I like the, um, the different texts. Like, the text you can do. Like, sometimes I edit pictures, and I'll use the Snapchat text on it because it looks really cute. Um, Hannah, uh, you're so pretty. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, is Snapchat still a thing? Let me know, because I'm trying to know if I should still keep using it or not. I feel like at this point, I'm using it as kind of like an editing app now. <laughs> I feel we're losing them. I was never a streaks person. My friends would send me streaks all the time, and I never respond. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like them. I'm like, why are you sending me a random picture of, like, your roof and, like, mor good morning streaks, good night streaks, bye, get out of my streaks, like, what is this, I'm not doing this, or what, what does it do, get you points, like, this isn't a game, what is this, Ugh, no, 
I'm sorry. I couldn't. I can't do streaks. I didn't even know streaks were still a thing. Like, I literally am telling you, I thought Snapchat died. Oh my god. You're so extra. <laughs> See, Whitley gets me. I don't do streaks either. It's too much. That's it. That's the comment. I love Zabie. She's so. <laughs> Damn, mucho. Aww. You're so funny. I'm glad you guys find me funny. I'm a mess. like them but I accidentally lost one and the person came up to me in person like why did you lose our streak and I feel, are you kidding me don't my friends know never to come up to me without BS why did you lose our streak because I wanted to cuz I do I look like I have free this amount of free time to go on my phone to like randomly take a picture of the wall the cute little stars I have hanging up on my wall put a little like gif of like freaking I don't know Tiffany Haddish and like say good morning streaks. No, I don't have this time. You know what I mean? Like, and I'd be like, cause I want to. I lost it cause I want to. You want to start again? We can start again. Actually, I'm, I'm giving you a hypothetical situation because I literally would not start it again. I wouldn't start it in general, but I can't do streaks. I can't. They annoy me. I don't know. I'm like a whole thing. And like group chats too. I'm so mean. Like literally my friends have to ask me like in a personal text before they put me in the group chat. You know what I mean? Because I have this one friend who I love him. Literally the best, like, li like literally everyone knows him. Tim, there's some people that know who he is. City Boy Junior, that's him. That's that's my baby, That's we love him, we stand him. Um, talented, amazing, we love him, he's nice. Um, but anyway, literally everyone here, my whole circle of friend knows him, right? And we all love him. But he's the type that will get together like a group of like 20 friends and hey, let's go somewhere. And um, they're like, I'm back in my fan account. I love Liv. Okay. And then, the, and then we just send a group chat to like, like make a group chat and send everyone like 20 plus people like, hey, do y'all want to go hang out? So then it's like a bunch of yes, no, I can't, I can't, I'll see you. Um, what do I wear? Or like, what are we going to do? Where are we going? What time are we meeting? And it's like 300 text messages in like five minutes. And I can't do that. I really can't. My phone's on silent 24-7. Like I don't really hear. But it's like, ding, ding, it's like there, you know. Oh, and I hate it. And it, like literally the first person that says hello, I literally already like leave the chat. And I'm not even trying to be mean. It's just I don't want the notifications. <laughs> so then like literally Tim has to like text me and be like, hey, can I put you in this group chat? I was like, I'm so mean. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hi, Ben. I was just about to, like, text you or, like, call you because I had, like, nothing to do. And I was like, I want to see how Ben's doing. But, yeah. My phone died. What happened? Okay, it's just me going on a rant about everything. <laughs> I have my phone on sleep mode. I can't deal with buzz notifications in general. I'm a mess. I have all my notifications turned off. Instagram's turned off. Twitter's turned off. Um, Tumblr's turned off. Pinterest turned off. No, everything's off. Except messages, because there's messages I need to respond to. I should turn on my email kind of notifications thing, because those are very important. Um, you know, that's what the work is, but I just kind of have put into my mind that I have to check it constantly instead of like, I can't do notifications, I really hate them. Oh my god. Unless it's something that I absolutely need to remember and like check off. And no vibrating either. I hate that even more than the ringtone. Like, I miss the old Sky Gazers. Me too, baby. Aww. Cause your phone is constantly buzzing when we like are on are on house party. Does it? I didn't see that. Like it's literally always off. Maybe I maybe like in that moment I was getting like a bunch of text messages, I don't know. But like no. Oh no, it was probably my mom's phone. She has all the notifications turned on. And my mom is like, log, no, that was at con. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but as long as you still remember, that makes me feel better. I literally, I don't care if you are have the a fan page dedicated to me or not. As long as every now and then you come in and you're there, girl, I don't care. I appreciate the support in general, however it comes, so. What do you think about it? Because I love you and I'm living in Venezuela and it's horrible. My country, bro. I mean, 
I'm only Venezuelan because I was born there. No one from my family is from Venezuela. Um, and I only lived there. I was born there and I lived there until I was six. And I can't, it's hard. It's still hard though to like think about it and be like, the dude, the country's really like that right now. Like it's worse than Cuba. And that's saying a lot. My whole family's from Cuba and they were just like, it's worse than Cuba, bro. And that's saying a lot. Like, it's so sad. Things are getting so violent. The government is like, I'm sorry, I'm not for the government right now. And I don't think I ever was. Um, but it's such a mess. And it's so sad because I, I still have family over there. And they're all trying to get out. They're all trying to get out. Um, but yeah, it's really bad right now. I mean, I have hope that it'll get better. Um, and we're always like checking the news every now and then just to see if there's any type of progress. But it's like... It's gonna take time. Unless we get rid of our donkey of a president, <laughs> then I don't know. This is Venezuela, by the way. This is not here. I mean, I'm not a fan of the. I don't. I'm not a fan of the president here either. But I'm not gonna get into that. Um, it's so sad what's happening. It's, I know. It's like it's like it's sad. You move on, but it's like where you were born, and it's sad that it's getting to that. You know what I mean? Like, the money situation's bad, the food, everything. It's so, everything is scarce. Horrible. J-Ho! I love J-Ho. Like, Yo, J-Ho really, really came through in the concert, bro. I never forgot that. I was like, me and my sister are like, still like, shaking up on it. Cause like, when Jin... You know, like, dope, right? And Jin has his dance on the second verse. Me and my sister did it on the first verse and on the second verse. But, like, he was walking towards this area of the concert. And, like, he saw my sister do the dance and he did it. With, and I was like, ah! Okay, moving on. I'm not, no, we're not fangirling. Stop. Moving on. What are you going to come talk about? What is the next topic? It's Arm's birthday. I know. It's so, uh, it's hard for me because I never know. When to like, because I want to tweet about it, and I have like a, a picture of my baby RM saved up to post and congratulate him on his birthday and celebrate. But like, I'm trying to see what I was like, should I put it in Korean Standard Time, in United States Standard Time? Because it's like, when do I post it? They're here right now, so I'm going to use that as my excuse to post it tomorrow. Because they're still going to celebrate tomorrow anyway, so. That's so cool. Celebrating your birthday on two days. I mean, I shouldn't even say I literally celebrate my birthday for a whole month because I'm extra. But I deleted house parties and I think you did too. Oh, I still have my house party. I just never use it. I'm a mess. That's the other thing. I don't know how to... T <laughs> house party keeps sending me freaking notifications. And my... There's like four of my specific... Four specifically... Of my friends that go in every single day at almost like midnight and the notification pops up and I'm on my phone at midnight and like it's midnight what are you doing who are you talking to like ugh, I don't go to bed until like 2 a.m. but I don't want to be talking to anyone at 2 a.m. like this is this is sleep time this is chill time this is this is you know how like you wouldn't send a message or email anyone from work past like 9 p.m. because it's like not professional and it's late exactly have that same mentality with me even though I'm your friend or whatever I am to you don't text me after like 10 only certain people have that privilege <laughs> I'm a mess I'm a mess today okay you're literally so beautiful like girls grow up BTS will be proud I love you stop you're so cute. Thank you. Today's the ninth anniversary of Vampire Diaries. You're joking. I want to cry. I love Vampire Diaries with a passion. My heart. Ah. And like Ian is doing a new show. I think. And like. Um, is, um, is their originals over? I think they just had their like big finale, right? And like everyone was like so upset with the finale. So I can text you at 5 a.m., right? Girl, you are bold. You can DM me at 5 a.m. You can DM me at any time. My DM notifications are not going to come through. <laughs> I have that turned off. I check it the next day. 
I hate Family Diaries. Really? You didn't like it? I... It starts getting better throughout the seasons. That's what I'd say. Like, I mean, it depends what you like. First season was okay. I thought it was good. Like, it got me... It was enough to get me into it. Second season, to me, was, like, so slow. Second season, to me, was, like... Ugh. I literally took the biggest break from the show just because of season two. It was so slow. Ugh. But, yeah. It was just... Ugh. And then I got back to it, and, like, season three was, like... Oh, my God. And then, it, like... After just season four and onward, like season three where the originals come in, I think, and onwards is like nonstop. Like you just don't get a rest. Ugh. But yeah. I just don't, to me, I just don't like Elena. That's my biggest problem. I love Nina. I love Nina. I love Nina Dobrev. Like literally, Stan, Queen, I love her. And I like Catherine. Even though she's like evil and whatever, I love Catherine. Or Katarina, whatever. Um, Elena, though, not doing it for me. Mm -mm. Happy birthday, baby. And this is cute and totally fake. I know it's not your birthday. I was like, what? Wait, what is this? Hated the finale. You're joking. Why would you spoil it for me like that? What is that? No, now I'm not going to watch the originals. For what? For what? No, bye. I can't. Wow, you really just did me. You did me so wrong. What did Michelle say? I ship Elena with death. <laughs> Actually, yes. That last, um, for, uh, the eighth season, when she was in a coffin the entire season, that, probably the best season. I'm sorry. I Oh my god! Fui ignorada por Lili Mar. No, ignoration. <laughs> es que no he visto ningún comentario todavía salir por aquí. Es que no todos los comentarios salen. Literally, not all of the comments like pop up. I don't know why. And it makes me so frustrated. Te gusta Pentagon, sí. Spill the tea, I know. Elena looked very cute in season eight, very silent in a coffin, while all the other main characters resolved the problems with ease, and that is the tea. But yeah, no. Ugh. I'm but I kinda like the way Nina did the character though. Like her character was supposed to be that way, you know what I mean? I feel like she was supposed to be semi-weak, little annoying. It's it's a typical main character. That's a very typical main character. A lot of the times, people don't end up liking the main characters. The main character, very rare times, has like a very distinct personality that everyone kind of likes. Usually, everyone likes like the the secondary, like the second character that comes after that and onwards, because it's like everyone has their own specific like personality and kind of purpose and whatever. The main character is literally just made to hold the show almost on their shoulders. And they're like the typical hero character and blah, blah, blah. And, so, and you just get sick of them very easily. That's my opinion on it. Like I've seen, it's very rare for me to see a main character that I just, that's my favorite character. It's usually someone else. Yeah. Like six times, is she okay? Like I don't know if I could watch all eight seasons that many times. I would rewatch certain seasons because I no, I'm telling you, I literally cannot go through the second season. The second season was just, ugh, oh my god, it was so slow. That's what I remember. It was just like dragged out. I think maybe there was just a lot of Elena scenes, and that's probably what I didn't like. <laughs> Phoebe from Friends is my favorite. <laughs> I love Phoebe. That was, she was my favorite character, too. Her and Joey. Those are my babies. My babies. I love them. On your account and didn't even tag me. Really? Are you sure? I always tag. That's so weird. Which one was it? Oh, yeah. Okay, pero para que lo sepan, porque lo siguen diciendo, um... Si yo veo comentarios como con preguntas y cosas que yo pueda contestar en español, los digo en español. Pero si todo lo que ves es como hola o no estás hablando español, imagínate que voy a decir. 
I love you so much. Lily, make my day beautiful. Like, that beauty contest. What? You would win a grand prize. You're really beautiful. Like, your goals. You're so cute. Thank you. Aw. Thank you. I love you. Wait. Is it still paused? Or am I back? Because I literally have no idea what just happened. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. Every okay. Is it paused? Is it still paused? Are we okay? Am I back? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I'm so lost. I get him chill. Oh. Me Mildre. Cause he didn't even tag me. Madeye, I responded to this. Wait, like when was that? That's super weird because I always tag. Maybe I just didn't know it came from you. Maybe like someone else like reposted. I have no idea. Which one was it though? Maybe it looked, wait. No, was it the one that was like the, the flowers and the one that looked like, no, but did I post that one? I don't even know. Wait. You're back, it's back, it's all good, okay. Okay, Paul's on the funniest face ever. Ugh. Hey, my life. Okay, I literally have the worst luck when it comes to this crap getting paused on like the best face ever. But yeah. The comments are so slow, I'm so pissed. Okay, can someone explain to me why on Instagram lives the comments come in so slow? Like when I really like watch it later just to like check that like, cause I always save my Insta stories, and I always, like, go back to check to see, like, everything's there, and it's all good. Um, but then I see the comments, and I see exactly when you guys, like, posted it, and when I responded it. And there's this biggest, like, pause, and just, like, this awkward pause of, like, wow. I was, like, they commented, like, I literally saw the comment, like, ten minutes later and responded. I was, like, are you serious? Like, I don't know. I remember being on your story. Oh. But yes, okay, let's do a thing. And then just ask, so like, ask me any questions. Cause like, I'll literally fangirl with you on anything, as I've already said. And if there's anything, any questions you have on the show, on the characters, on what I'm up to, favorite food, whatever it is, um, you can just ask it. Okay, lo como dije en inglés, pero es que vamos a hacer una cosa que me pueden preguntar cualquier cosa, como si me quieren preguntar de show, de música, de. Comida favorita, lo que ustedes quieran, el artista preferido, no importa. Eh, que me pueden preguntar cualquier cosa para ver si como podemos seguir la conversación. But yeah. Am I ever going to London? I hope so. I hope so. My grandma got to go with her best friend once and she said it was like the, her favorite city ever. I was like, I want to go watch all the boys I've loved before. I know. I'm wondering when the hell I'm going to get, like, time to freaking watch Netflix. Maybe today I should, I actually I should dedicate my, the day to watch Netflix because I'm not doing anything today. I think I'm not. Where's my planner, actually? I think it might be my purse. Have you seen Lucas's new hairstyle? Lucas is my baby, bro. Yes! Why is he so... Mm, I love him. Why is this boy so deep? Why can't he be my boyfriend? What do I think about Sage? My favorite Sage was actually a Sage that I don't think you guys really got to see. Was kind of like audition process Sage. So for everyone, for a couple that don't know, I'm on a Nickelodeon show called Night Squad currently. And then my character's name is Sage. Um, Sage is um, kind of like the evil one. Not evil, but like she was supposed to be evil, but now she's just kind of like mean. Lucas is a god on earth, don't at me. Girl, I agree. <laughs> but anyway, back to the topic. Because <laughs> I literally like talk about every topic except the one I'm originally trying to talk about. Um, so in the audition, Originally, Sage um, was like evil. She had, she was a sorceress. She had magic powers. Um, 
she had voices in her head. Buttercup actually wasn't originally part of the script. Um, Buttercup was supposed to be my fairy godfather that would appear every now and then, not on every episode, and would do, like, the evil plans with me and, like, help me, like, do sorcery, basically. Um, so that was kind of the original thing. And then I think later on we were like, no, like, they, of course, loved Savannah. We wanted, like, they wanted Savannah to be part of it, so Savannah was giving the Buttercup character and they changed it to what Buttercup is now, which is Sage's best friend, which we all thought was amazing because there were times where we were like, okay, if Buttercup, like the fairy godfather Buttercup is not going to be in every episode, who the heck is Sage going to talk to? Like, I was going to have so many scenes just talking to myself and being that crazy hoe, like, wow. But I originally just loved my character and she had like this cynical type of like um, humor and she would just get inside Ciara's, like, head, like, like man almost, like, manipulating her, and, like, oh, she, Ciara was just always pissed at Sage, so, and a black shot, you posted the one where, hold on, give me a second, you have red, a crop top, and a matching skirt, and red lipstick, and a black jacket, did you, like, like, oh, I know which red carpet look you're talking about, about the credit for the edit. But did you like put like photos together and then I posted it? Is that what it was? Cause maybe I just like found it somewhere or like my, or maybe my mom found it and like just sent it to me and I didn't see it. If I didn't tag you, it's not because I was like, oh whatever, I'm not, I'm not gonna tag. It's literally because, or I didn't see it or like it, I found it just without it or I found it randomly or whatever. But like if I knew that oh, that was it, okay. Then I probably, then maybe it was just like, I don't know, I didn't see like, Something because if it was you and specifically you too, I would give you credit immediately. I'm sorry about that. Well, like next time that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of back to Sage. That's kind of what she was. That was like, that's my favorite version, I'd say, of Sage. Cause in like in every show, literally every character goes through so many changes, even during the show. So like even all of us, we know that like. During the show, during the first season, we go through so many changes, and there are times where we're just like, okay, what do I do with my character? I don't even know what my character's doing. Like, but, so sometimes it gets a little hard because you get, fr Sage can be such a mood, sometimes I try. Um, but I still do try, like, we, we, the writers have, like, I feel like watered her out a little bit just to make her a little more likable towards kids. Um... Because, I mean, there's also, like, parents who don't want their kids to copy certain behavior. I mean, in my opinion, parents should be able to control that. And, you know, you should have power over your kid, not kid doing whatever it wants. And you let him. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but, anyway, that was, you know, the main issue. We don't want parents to be um, mad. We want kids to have something good to look up to. Even though I had no problem with kids being afraid of me because my character was what she is. I mean, I'm kind of used to kids being afraid of me and my characters because, see, little kids, when they watch TV, you know, they think you are your character most of the time. So when they see me on the street or, like, I do, or they come up to me, I remember in Bella, it was so much easier for kids and, like, Bella fans, most of them, not all, to go up to Breck or Haley. But for me, it was a little bit more, like, hesitant because Sophie was more, like, sassy and, like, beat up people and all this kind of stuff. So they were, like, reluctant. Um, and then Night Squad, it's still in the beginning of stuff, so I haven't gotten the chance to really see how um, kids have reacted to Sage specifically. But I think since they already know me, as just Lilimar or like they watched Sophie before it's not they're not as scared to go up but no we have I feel I feel like the writers have kind of like settled down with Sage a little bit but there are certain times where we do get to have fun with it and just kind of like push the border a little bit and like the scripts can get so funny sometimes like it's just uh, it's it's so nice though it's a great production like I love everyone there uh. And I'm so excited to go back. I want to go back to work. <laughs> I really want to go back to work. But yeah. Te mandan saludos. Ah, dile a Lizzy y a Chiqui que le mandan muchos saludos, que los quiero muchísimo. Mmm, mis bebés. Okay, so my music stopped all of a sudden. Jaheem, my baby. That's my king. Everyone say hello to my king. 
Um, I miss you. We're hanging out soon. I told Tylen this already. We're bringing the cat, like the group, back together, and we're gonna hit up the streets. We gonna hit up downtown, wherever. We're gonna get coffee. We're gonna do I don't know what, but I have to hang with my faves. It's a thing. You have ADD too. I do. Um, I love you. You better follow me, on Monday. I do. Yeah, since I was little. Um, hang out with Isabella. Isabella. Because I, I have a lot of friends named Isabella, so that's why I'm asking. Wait. I gotta get... Wait. I'm trying to look... Okay, what if I just go for a day six playlist? Is that what I'm gonna do? Am I gonna listen to a whole playlist of day six? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. That's exactly... Oh, Isabella Moner. Oh, I haven't seen her in, like, years. Okay, not years. I haven't seen her in months. She's working a lot. I love day six. Wait. I can't reach my computer. Okay, I got it. Ow, and I accidentally ripped my hair out. <laughs> Any advice on living with ADD? I have it as well. Um, for me, this is my kind of experience with it. It really hasn't limited me at all. I'm about to text the group chat. Yes! Okay, it's about to be lit. Anyway, back to it. It hasn't really limited me and what I'm able to do in my work. I don't really think it... Sorry about that. Specifically, with ADD, should let it get in your way. It's always going to be a little bit of a struggle sometimes. I totally get it. I know. But I think you can definitely go around it. Like, for me, my biggest thing was, like, there's a lot of times where you're talking and I'll literally miss everything you said. Any, like, a fly going by is going to distract me and I'll immediately lose, tra lose track of, like, you know what you're saying when I talk to you I like looking at people in the eyes and completely talking to them being connected but I like sometimes I can't it's like I without even knowing my eyes are looking everywhere but you and and like and sometimes like five minutes later ten minutes later you ask me what the main thing of what like the main topic of what your of the conversation was and I won't be able to tell you the whole thing because without even knowing it I was just completely distracted and like while, while someone's talking, while I'm like reading something, I'll, my mind will literally be somewhere else. And I, of course, you can't, I can't focus on two things at the same time. So, but for me, what worked or what is working currently is not medication. Literally, I don't take anything for um, my ADD. Um, for the eyes, that's, that's actually what you unfollowed on Instagram and I... Because it was so, so fake. What do you mean? I never unfollowed. Like, I have you here. Like, I don't know. It depends. I'll talk to you later on DMs and, like, address everything. Because I feel like there's a bunch of stuff that we got to address. But anyway, for me, it was, like, the most thing that I'm mostly proud of is uh, regarding ADD is, like, my eyes. Because it was such a struggle when I was on Belle and the Bulldogs because, oh, I said it was fake, Lily. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You, like, it scared me. Um, Someone was asking ADD is, um... How do you say it in English? Attention deficit disorder. Different from ADHD, which has hyperactivity in it. Mine's is not with hyperactivity. Didn't help me either. I never took medication. I mean, then again, my dad is literally is literally like a, a children's psychiatrist, and my whole family is medics, so they were able to kind of help me through it and just better focus. Um, to me, again, going back to what I was saying, when I was on Bell and the Bulldogs, it was a really big struggle for me because when... I knew that my line was coming up or like there was a joke, like a punchline that we had to hit. There were certain places where I would look the other way or I would look somewhere else and I needed to be looking at the person that I'm talking to, the, who I'm delivering my line to. If I want the joke to end well, like I need to be looking at the certain person. I can't be saying my lines and looking to the floor, to the lockers, to the, you know. So, how are you? Say hi to Liliana and Maite. Hi, Braulio. We miss you guys. But, um... That was, like, the one big thing. And, like, I'll always be thankful to um, our dialogue slash acting coach, Kelly, because she was the Bella and Bulldogs, and she's with us on Night Squad as well. And she was, like, the first one to, like, be like, girl, you got crazy eyes. You got local eyes. Like, you're, they're looking everywhere except where you need to be looking at. Please make sure that you are looking where you need to be looking at. Please focus 
your mind is everywhere. Just focus on your character and what you're saying. Don't be like, don't be thinking of 3,000 things like, no, my line has to be said here. My line has to be said there. That's not acting. Acting is like, in real life, you don't know what the hell you're going to say. You don't know how you're going to say it. Sometimes you say things in your mind. You envision it one way and it came out another way. So if you're doing a character to make it realistic, you can't pre-plan everything you're going to say. You have to act as if you're saying it for the first time. You're, you know, mentally just creating the lines. So I couldn't be having all these thoughts in my head while doing that because my eyes are everywhere without even me knowing. I'm thinking of something else. I'm distracted. So that was the big thing in Bella that I've been able to completely get rid of. And it was, I was very happy when, like, because, you know, I didn't see... Let me give me a second. I didn't see Kelly, the uh, dialogue acting coach, for a while until we got back to... Um, night squad and then she was like hey I noticed you stopped like you stopped doing that you're not doing that anymore you're a lot more focused so to me that was great but then to feel more focused it's like I do constantly have to think like okay just focus completely on the person look at them in the eyes try not to look at everywhere else I know there's a fly right there don't look at it um that kind of stuff so, so I can really grasp what people are saying because that's the main thing why I forget so many things why I forget to DM somebody or why I forget to answer an email or why I forget what this person said a day or two ago because I'm not fully paying attention to you so it didn't register. So I'm still working on it obviously and I feel like it's going to be something I'm going to work on my entire life. But just finding things that you like, like I don't know, writing, drawing, playing the piano, whatever it is. Even doing it once every day, it's something that you're putting your focus in. It's almost like you're training yourself to just focus. You know what I mean? You're finding how you can train your mind and your eyes and your focus to be specifically on one thing instead of everything at the same time. Like, you know what I mean? To look at one point in the room instead of all like, the entire room, you know? It's so, like, that kind of has taught me to just focus more be more concentrated and just take things slow because sometimes it's a little overwhelming kind of seeing everything at once but yeah that's kind of like all the advice I have on ADD that's my experience with it um, and I and but seriously never think of it as something this big thing that's going to limit you if you have ADHD like there's someone else in my family who has it it doesn't limit her at all it, there's just a lot of things that you find your way around. You find the way to train your mind. Because your mind is a very powerful thing. The more you train it, the more you teach it, the better it is. So, yeah. So the main thing is just, the first step is just to not feel threatened by it. You know what I mean? You're so cool. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I cannot, I cannot listen to this playlist right now. Like, I'm gonna cry. I literally love Dasic so much, but they get me all up in my feels 24-7. <sighs> I don't even know. There's Guys, there's so many, like, good playlist videos on YouTube. Like, crying for you, Lil. Oh, you're so cute. Don't do that. You're so cute. How's the concert? Both got amazing. So good. I went on a rant about it on my last, um live I, th I think it's still up is it still up maybe I'm not sure um but yes I did have an amazing time I've never been so so happy like I literally could not sleep I was like I had so much leftover excitement and it was such an amazing experience like I'm so happy I got to go because it's like you know you're like a fan of a specific artist for like years and years and this is like the first time you're finally able to go with like people you love and like that also like share the like for their music and it's like an amazing show and everyone's just kind of like together in the same mindset of like let's enjoy ourselves and it's like an escape from reality like it's so great it's so good they're so beautiful I just oh my god they're not even here okay well they're still they're still in California but okay sorry I'm like finding like <laughs> there's <laughs> there's a video of like Euphoria by Jungkook like an hour long they literally extended the song to be repeated to be an hour long. I hate y'all so much. Hi, Timmy. That's my baby. See, I love him. We stand and we love Tim Johnson in this live stream. I am looking 
for the specific... This is all my, like, lo-fi stuff, and I don't want to listen to lo-fi right now because I'm going to fall asleep and, like, it's really chill, and I can't do that right now. So I'm trying to be entertaining. Um, how did you feel when BTS, like, popped up on stage? Girl, I can't even... I, like, froze. They're right there! You know what I mean? It's like we were close. They were right there. I was like, wow, look at V. Look at Taehyung with his freaking half pink, half... What is, like, off-white? Yes, strawberry vanilla. Oh, my God. Wait, let's not go there. And I love NCT Dream. Chen is my baby. Jamin's my baby. Mark is my baby. They're all my babies. I'm literally older than like the like most of them. Love you too. I'm in love with Lo-Fi. Yes, Tim. Yes. Yes. It's so good. We go up by NCT Dream. Y'all, don't even get me in an don't get me in an NCT Dream mood. Don't do it. We're not going there. Oh my god. I, f I love them. This is a bunch of my piano. I'm like, okay, let me go back. I love this song, but we're not hearing it again. Let me just go to this girl's user. I'm younger than some, but older than like half. Exactly. Same. Wait, Jin uh, Jinno and Jamin. I freaking love them. I'm like, who's older than me? Mark is older than me, but like a couple months actually. I like your life. They're never dry. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, okay. There we go. Uh, we love Lil Mark. I, I know Mark is older than me by a couple months. He's 19. I'm 18. So yeah. Um, Mark in the 2000s are older. <laughs> I'm a 2001 baby. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple that are like older than you. I'm June 2000. Wait, what are their ages? Hold on. I need to... Ugh, there's some... I can't memorize these things. Um, Entity Dream members dripping. Okay. NCT Dream is doing a lot, bro. Like, but what? Y'all are, mm, stop. Well, this is too youngest, I guess. My bias? What, in, um, in NCT Dream? Chen Le. Jamin is doing the most, though. I think he's officially my bias record. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. Okay, they're 14 to 17 years old. That's a lie. That needs to be updated. Um, <laughs> what is that one K-pop profile? Is that one? Is this the... Is this the one website that's good? <sighs> There's so many that are so updated. Not updated. When was this updated? August 2016. This is... We're not reading that. Okay. Okay. This of, okay. Mark, I know it's 1999. Wait. Bye, Lily. Saludos para tu mami. Tabu. Mirko, te quiero mucho. Saludos. Okay. We're not... We're putting this on mute. Okay. Like, I really need to, like, now that I'm in, like, I really need to know. Okay, confirmed. Mark is older than me. <laughs> August 2nd, 1999. Renjin. Renjin. Whatever. Renjin. Whatever. He's March 23, 2000, so he's, like, a couple months older than me. Do you know it's April 23? He's, l l mm, like, a month older than me. And then Heichan and everybody else is younger. Ha! Heichan is like, I call him my twin though, because he's June 6th and I'm June 2nd. It was like, oh, we're June babies. Hey, babies. But yeah, no. Okay, so I have that down. There's only three members in NCT Dream that are like older than me, but like a few months, not much. Um, but <laughs> anyway, um, come to NYC so I can shower you with love. I might be in New York very soon but you didn't hear it from me. Ah, so yay! Hopefully I get to see some of y'all. I don't know, I, I might be working, but if not, like, still, hopefully. Ah. If we can meet, can you sign my forehead? Oh my God, you're funny. Maybe, I don't know if you want, I don't care. <laughs> but oh my God, okay, 30 seconds left. I gotta go, Instagram's kicking me out. I love you. Um, uh, I love you guys so much. I'm so, so thankful for you. Um, I'll keep posting. I'll try to make my Instagram as lit as possible. Um, tengo 25 segundos. Okay, ya Instagram quiere, Instagram quiere que ya yo me vaya y que pare de hablar. Pero bueno, los quiero. Los agradezco, agradezco muchísimo su apoyo. Los quiero. Que, los amo. Um, los veo en la próxima live que voy a tratar de hacer más. Um, I love you. Have an amazing day. Que tengan un buen día en el trabajo, en la escuela, at school, uh, college, work, whatever. I love you. Good luck. Um, but yeah.